Hi, I'm Julian from Brinson Marine, and today we're going to talk about what to look for in a bolt lift canopy. Behind me is a Shoremaster bolt lift canopy. This is the traditional style. There is a hip roof style, but we'll focus on this one today because this is the one we recommend most often and it protects your boat better. So I'll show you why. You can follow me underneath the canopy frame. Um, the first thing to look at when looking at a canopy might be the construction, especially if you're going to be assembling it yourself. This is a great example of a good constructed frame, partially because there's only four pieces. So there's two long sides and then two end caps. And all of the little stringers that you see are basically all welded together. So it helps keep it simple and durable. So another really important thing on the canopy frame, maybe the most important, is how deep the sides are. So you'll see there's the top level and then it comes down um, looks like a foot and a half or so. Uh, point is, it wraps around your boat when you have the boat lifted up into the canopy. So if you get side winds or rains, it gives you some sort of protection. If the canopy frame doesn't go around the boat, you may end up with a bunch of water and leaves in your boat, and you're kind of missing the whole point of the canopy. So you want it to have nice deep sides. Another thing to look at is how you're going to be attaching the vinyl to the canopy frame. So in this case, there are stringers welded, partially for structure, but also to help with attaching the bungees. So these bungee cords on this canopy vinyl are attached, and then they wrap around underneath. And that's how it stays put in the event of like a rainstorm or anything like that. It's super easy to use. You can replace these bungees um, if they ever get stretched out or broken. Really user-friendly. I'm going to move to my left, so you're right. <laughs> there is uh, vents in the canopy vinyl itself. That's another great thing to look at. And what that functionally does is it allows the air somewhere to go if you do get sort of a windstorm. Again, the whole idea is just to help with durability. It's going to reduce uh, the chance of having some sort of seams ripped or, or bungees broken or anything like that. Another thing to look at with the canopy frame is the adjustability. So this is the canopy leg and it's actually going inside of the hoist frame. So if we needed to adjust the canopy height, and you might want to do that because the water level changes or maybe your boat changed, this one's really easy to adjust because we're just loosening one nut and the carriage bolt rides right inside this canopy leg. So the point is you can get it infinitely adjustable. There's no holes to drill out. You aren't stuck trying to bounce back and forth between an adjustment that may be an inch apart. So again, easy to adjust makes it more user friendly. Now, one thing when you're looking at canopy frames, you might want to consider how they measure them. So if you're looking to replace your vinyl, for example, different manufacturers might measure them differently. We'll just focus on the Shoremaster one now. They measure from the inside of the boat lift frame. So if we measure from this point and then the inside of the other side of the boat lift, going side to side, this one will measure 120 inches, which is also 10 feet wide. So that's the size vinyl that we'll use, 120 inches. In this application, it's also 23 feet long. There are different materials that you can use for the canopy cover. This particular one is the top coated vinyl. It's definitely the most durable. It's the one we sell the most of. Um, it lasts years. It also is the most waterproof. It, it's a really heavy material. It is a bit cumbersome to carry if you're going to be taking the vinyl on and off yourself every year. So if that is a concern for you, another option you can go with is the WeatherMax material. That is more of a fabric. It's a lot lighter weight and it is water resistant, but it won't protect you from the water quite as much as the vinyl. But again, it's lightweight and you also avoid um, the sheen on it. For some folks, you might not like it. I personally don't mind it, but if you don't like the look of the shiny vinyl, the WeatherMax might be a really good alternative. There is a middle of the road option as well, and that's called Harbor Time. And the best way I'd describe it is somewhere basically literally in the middle of the vinyl and the weather max. It does have a little bit of a shine, but not quite as much as the vinyl. It's about middle of the road in terms of weight. And I believe the durability will probably be right about the middle as well. So if you're looking for the best bang for your buck, the best protection for your boat, I would still go with the top coat vinyl. So those are just a few things to keep in mind when looking for a boat lift canopy. If you have more questions, we'd be happy to talk to you about it. My name is Julian. I work at Brinson Marine, and thank you very much for watching.